What's up guys, it's me, Infinite Possibilities, and I'm here to bring you a voice tutorial for Mount Black Hat Infected Zone. So the items that are being dropped here, uh, it's not that much, it's actually just your NPC KND Defender Armor, it's level 1 Ultra Rare, a variation of the KND Defense Armor, this recycled armor provides great protection, um, you guys know how to read. And I actually like this description right here. I uh, like how the description guy's meta is actually somewhat fourth wall breaker. And But the prominent item here that a lot of people would race for would have to be the Ben 10 Bubblehead. I like calling it Bobblehead. It sounds better, but it's called the Ben 10 Bubblehead or just the Ben Bubblehead. And it shows off your Alien Force fandom with this Bubblehead of Ben Tennyson himself. Uh, it's an ultra rare level 1. And the beauty about racing is that you can suck and by getting like 3 stars and still be able to have the chance to get yourself that Ben 10 Bobblehead. Um, in fact, let me just go put this on and uh, F10 remove the UI and it, to be honest it looks, <laughs> it looks kinda dopey he's just staring at you kinda like the Mona Lisa um, okay so uh, this is how it's going to work I'm gonna do the recording or the race path five times I'm gonna show you my mistakes common mistakes that I do and things that for, for yourself to go avoid uh, uh, let me show you my qualifications for this race. Yeah, I actually um, got the number one score for the day, uh, 39,360. I got uh, eighth place. However, I wasn't able to go get to that all-time score. But I'm still qualified because I did this race uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, uh, 15, 16, 17 times. And that's a lot of practice. In fact, uh, once I got my Ben 10 bobblehead, I, I, I felt like I should practice more because I, you know, it felt like I wasn't qualified enough. But anyways, in fact, you can actually do this infected zone without any gumballs. So let me just uh, show you and let's get straight into it. So for this part, you're going to have to, uh, come on, load my nano. Just load up your running nano here. I uh, don't no need for your jumping nano just yet take go jump here take out your uh, jumping nano here so you can actually skip that part looks like my loadout was um, lagging a bit uh, jump there use your rocket and what you're gonna try and do is go on top of this uh, uh, chopped log and for this part right here unfortunately you're unable to go skip it unless you can find some sort of alternative way make sure that you're sta oh what the heck <laughs> um, I was gonna jump uh, yes um, every time if there's a moving platform and if you jump that's going upwards there's a there's a possibility that you're going to uh, fall down uh, so make sure that you don't fall down uh, and make sure you don't do that there's that pod right there and take out your running nano here and what you're gonna do is take jump nano here go here and there are two methods for yourself to do this um, something that's a bit more intimidating would be for yourself to go through here and click and uh, after that you log on log on to this platform take out your run nano do a 180 turn maybe take out your jump nano and then you're gonna get yourself a jump ability and sometimes this this infected zone uh, it's heavily reliant on luck uh, and if you want to get yourself an all-time score you're, you're gonna have to go practice a lot and also you're gonna have to rely on the movement of these platforms because of their positioning and right here there's actually a zip line on the back uh, take that zip line and what you're going to do here is you're going to take out your jump nano and for this part right here sometimes this this floating platform will be on the very top it's entirely possible for yourself to uh, skip that part and kind of like this one right here so just let's follow what I did right there and you're gonna get yourself another jump power nano right here jump that part and if you want, you can actually uh, get this pod, but 
it doesn't really matter because you're gonna go up there anyways and then the most important part is for yourself to jump off that pink mushroom I might even strip these are mushrooms and jump down and jump over here and this part it's kind of a little trick it's kind of a bit tricky I'll I'll show you the reason why um, so as you can see right here there's that pod right there and there's that platform approaching so just take the zip line drop right there and sometimes uh, you're not gonna be unfortunate and uh, have that platform ready for you so just jump there jump on this jump pad and then jump here finally and then go onto this zip line and it's entirely okay if you think I'm going too fast I'm gonna sow this infected zone run uh, four more times just for yourself to properly uh, remember this so something that I that usually ha happens when I'm taking this infected zone is I I'm running right and then I actually miss this pod and I sometimes forget that there's actually a pod right here um, sometimes it's best for you to go slow down around that part and for this one right here it's a little bit intimidating that there's going to be a cannon but that's entirely okay so just make it go a little bit up and then make sure you have maximum or near maximum intensity it doesn't have to be perfect again we're not trying to aim for all-time scores right here um, and right here, you just want to take out your Rocket Nano and uh, actually you don't have to take out your Rocket Nano. Right here is when you take out your Rocket Nano and again, the timing of the platform will uh, greatly determine your, your score. There's a lot of luck to this. So go up here and just because the platform is right there, it doesn't matter. You have your running now and don't forget this one right here and go upwards and uh, and here sometimes the platform is a bit late to the bottom that's okay just use your jump and rocket combination and jump go right here uh, you can skip that part and take this and uh, okay and then take this and sometimes you want to take your rocket nano here sometimes I actually fell take out your, your rocket nano and this part right here is gonna be a little bit challenging but it's okay so take the zip line and drop right here and what you want to try and do is for yourself to go on this mushroom and uh, go up and if you do miss that that's okay you got to take a 180 degree turn and looks like I failed right there and I ran out of um, Huh, I ran out of my rocket now. I wasn't paying attention. That's okay. Uh, it's a good thing that I'm showing you my mistakes because uh, because mistakes are everywhere. And, you know, you see those all-time scores. So if you do fail uh, and you, you do fall, and in fact, it's not the first time that I actually fell from that, um, that's entirely okay. You, you can still get yourself uh, a good score. And if you did fail, you can still get the, these pods right here. Um because I can guarantee you those YouTube videos that you see of people who have who are posting those all-time scores uh, that was not the first that was not the first recording I can guarantee you that unless you're someone like uh, Cherry Lime who is uh, a god at racing so yeah and I'll explain this part a bit more in detail on my future runs I kind of talked over there and uh, oh and sometimes you actually fall here, um, kind of go slow. Oh, oh, okay. Come on. Okay. And there's actually 84 pods. Okay, I got uh, three stars. That's entirely okay, which is, you know, at the end of the day, we just want to collect our items, right? Okay, so um, we're going to try this again. And I think for my... Uh, fourth and fifth round I'm gonna try and do this with gumballs and yeah so uh, it's entirely important it's very important for yourself to pay attention to your rocket now I, I guess because kind of giving an analogy uh, it's like I'm playing the piano but I'm on like I can I can do the race just fine but when it comes to talking over uh, I'm multitasking and it's very hard to concentrate it's so you, you want to pay attention to your rocket nano uh, you know, let me just <laughs> let me just remove this uh, bobblehead. It makes me it looks kind of derpy. Um, but you know, there's fuse and fall, uh, fuse and fall, Ben 10 and friends. Uh, there's just so much Ben 10 representation. All right, so let's try this again. This is uh, tap number two. And again, just take out your running nano, rocket nano right here. Jump nano, skip that, and then jump nano here again and uh, take out your jump nano here and log on here oops 
Let me go check if I'm actually recording. Okay, and my mic is recording. Actually, here's a unfortunate fact. This is actually my third recording, and by third recording, um, my third record. So my first recording, I realized I was recording with my mic turned off, and uh, and I, I I did the race five times, and you know that's very unfortunate. That's a massive. F right there. The second attempt was um, my dogs were barking a lot and I, it, it was just too much. Okay, so uh, that part is pretty simple. Again, take out your rocket nano right here and take out your run nano so you can just get this just by a little bit and take the zip line. Remember that there is a zip line at the back of this tree and uh, now get ready to take out your jump nano and depending on the timing just go right here on to this one so you can go skip that part and take this zipline right here and uh, again I got kind of fortunate here and use your rocket jump combo I gotta pay attention to my uh, rocket stamina that's very important in fact uh, when it comes to racing um, your rocket nano is your most important asset. In fact, there's racing tutorials out there where it's just uh, uh, running, rocket, and recall. Uh, notable exception would have to be monkey foothills. So just drop here, make sure to remember that pod, uh, go here, and then rocket right there. And as you can see that every attempt that I do, I have a slight variation, but you know, just try and remember the general path regarding this and the general methods. Um, if, you, if you can get the 80% right, and just remember here to kind of slow down a bit, and remember there's a there's a pod right there, and for this part right here, your rocket, don't be afraid. Um, a little bit high and maximum intensity, okay? And take out your rocket nano here. You can skip that jump pad, and uh, you don't have to use a rocket here because the jump pad will do the will do the boost for you. It's this part where you take out your rocket nano, and sometimes that again that platform will not be into your favor, and that's okay. Hopefully, in future runs, it's uh, I get to go show you that opportunity or that missed opportunity. Again, this part right here, just take out your running nano, jump nano right here, running nano right here, jump right there, and then I got kind of lucky right there, and uh, okay. And then jump. I actually like this infected zone a lot because there's a lot of zip lining. It's uh, very straightforward, and in fact, it's very beginner friendly. Um, when I did this for the first time, like my very first race, I actually got a five star run, and I've talked about this before in another tutorial for skate park. And um, my general strategy is for myself to watch a video, like watch a tutorial five times, um, and then I would try and replicate uh, that tutorial. So like that, so those, by watching it five times, I get to, I get to have a general layout of what it looks like. And every time I would do a, do a race, okay, good thing I was paying attention there. And every time that I was doing, doing a race, what I would do is, um, oh, looks like I might beat my, my personal best. Am I gonna beat it? Oh, yay! I beat my personal best. Uh, it was uh, 424, uh, 415. Let me see my race rank right now. Uh, this week I'm seventh place. Uh, still not for the all-time board. Uh, that's okay. And this was without gumballs. Um, yeah, that's that's fantastic. Okay, so. Okay, that was my second racing attempt. I'm, I'm, I'm just really paranoid with this recorder. Sometimes it's recording and sometimes it's not, so I have to constantly check if it's actually recording. I've tried OBS, but uh, unfortunately, it, I, I'm having a very, uh, it, it is, it, I'm not having a very great relationship with it. Okay, so that's what's in here. Uh, more, more of these guys. More of these. Uh, duplicates. Let's start the race again. Jump Nano. Jump Nano. Rocket. 
Rocket. Uh, whoops, let me jump. <laughs> and for this spot, remember you want to go jump right here. Make sure you don't actually jump or you're going to fall. Um, and then run nano here and then jump from this pink mushroom. Go here and okay. Oops. Take out your rocket nano. Do 180 turn. Oop, well, wow, that was very close. Uh, make, if that ever happens to you, make sure you do a double jump and you're going to be saved. Um, okay. And then what you're going to do here is take out your run nano so you can get that just by a little bit. And okay. There's a zip line at the other end. Jump, rocket, jump. Whoops. It's okay. Take care. Jump here. And you know, there's this thing called the curse of knowledge. And what it means is that once you become knowledgeable to some to something and when you try and explain it to someone, you assume that the things that you think that are very easy and trivial is that they're gonna think it's trivial and easy as well but the problem here is that those trivial things that you consider uh at one point for example they may they have been very hard for you so i want to try and make sure that when it comes to these racing tutorials that i try and remove that curse of knowledge and assume myself from the point of a beginner so just make sure you jump from there and then jump from here and then jump from here last and then take that zip line so long. slow down here a bit remember this you can rock it and then run here and uh okay And again, as you can see, like the method was a little bit different. Yep, there we go. And if you do miss that pod in the first time, that's entirely okay. And you know, there's that little red uh, tree right there, kind of blocking the view. That again, that that's okay. Um, as you keep on doing this more and more times, uh, you're gonna build a lot more confidence with yourself. And in fact, as a person who was uh like something was and as a person who was ashamed at racing because i was really bad at it i gave myself a chance and i told myself um okay you do suck but what matters the most is i want to get those items so um i forced myself to learn and it's kind of like that if you really want something you gotta force yourself gotta bite that bullet and make sure that you're gonna fail so many times um all right, so for this part right here, um, go to these platforms right here and use your rocket nano. It looks like I kind of screwed up right there. That's okay. Take out your rocket nano. Oh, I, I missed that again. Uh, okay, so again, that is a very tricky part. Um, I, I'm not gonna get myself that five star, that five star run. That's entirely okay. I can still get myself that crate, and I kind of fell there. But again, that's okay. That's okay. Failure is an opportunity for yourself to learn and grow as an individual. Um, jump right there. I mean, rocket right there. Uh, jump, jump, and uh, there. I got another three-star crate. And okay, so uh, let me see. So let me. How many? Let me go try and fix these. That's how many do I got here right now? Uh, okay, I need. <laughs> I'm just kind of I'm just collecting these dupes. I these the, the the clothing here is actually worthless. These actually came from the birthday bash, and the value of these it's uh you know it, it it's fine for you to go sell it's fine for you to go sell them to the vendor outside of the Ben 10 bobblehead. Okay, so that was um attempt number three, and again I'm I'm gonna check if I'm actually recording. Uh, and now what I'm gonna try and do is just try and do this with the with my gumballs and we're gonna try and see and but yeah I've, I've demonstrated to you it's entirely possible for yourself to do this race without without gumballs so let's just see what happens if you do have gumballs so run now now uh oh, oh my god <laughs> maybe 
Okay, so you know, that's an easy recovery. Jump. Tax lane, pretty cool. I wonder if I can. Uh, no, it's, that's a bad idea because you can't even summon your nanos. Make sure you're floating right here. Run, nano. Whoa, a little bit of lag right there. Okay. And the thing that I hate the most uh, is when is not when you fall. It's when you take your jump nano. I mean, it's when you summon your nano, right? And it doesn't load up, and then you fall. It's not because of like an actual mistake you did. It's because uh, your internet connects and uh, screwing up. So again, just very straightforward. Um, and again, this is one. Of, it's just a very beginner-friendly route. Okay, if the platform's not there, just land right here. And oh, okay. I kind of failed that one. That's okay. Rocket jump right there. Take the zip line. And uh, ooh, there's a mushroom right there. Are these actually mushrooms? Uh, you know what I find very weird about the Ben 10 bobblehead is that it's just uh, randomly located at the K and D Mount Blackhead infected zone, and I find that very odd because. Uh, you know, Ben 10, there's not a lot of, if any, uh, Ben 10 related missions outside of the guide missions here inside of the infected zone. Um, I think a much better candidate would have to be the off-road plaza, uh, because, you know, that's where Ben 10 is located, has his face theme located, and, uh, you know, it just makes more sense. And I feel like for the developers, they've made the Ben 10 bobblehead not worth that much due to the relatively easy difficulty for this infected zone. So just make sure again, just make sure you kind of slow down there. There's that uh, pod right there. Okay, here's that cannon. And a little bit up, high intensity. And, uh, and take out your rocket nano. Oh, okay, got kind of fortunate there. And then, rocket here. Gotta pay attention to my uh, rocket nano. Make sure you pay attention to your rocket nano stamina. Whoa, okay. Jump Nano. Take a Rocket Nano or Jump Nano here just to make sure. And I kind of been somewhat poorly explaining this part. It's very important. I've I've fell I think twice now. What you want to try and do is just I guess just follow this platform. If you want to be safe, you don't have to do that 180 turn. You can just wait for this platform again. It's entirely safe for you. Um, here I'll, I'll just wait for this platform. And, uh, okay. And then for this part, sometimes we're gonna be way up, and just that's okay. Um, and then what you wanna do is land here, land here first, because I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you in, very, in a few moments later. You wanna land there first, and take your run nano here. And the reason why you gotta land there first is because you don't wanna go back. Oh, what the heck, that actually, uh, um, disappeared. Okay, so, and there we have it. So we got ourselves a five-star run, and we got ourselves a other K and D boot. So these are all ultra rare, and you know, to be honest, uh, I I find it, I find it all these got these these should definitely be these uh, crates definitely be common. I don't think they're ultra rare, uh, especially with how. Uh, little the Benton bobblehead actually drops. Um, okay, so we're gonna do this one last time. I actually have about 2,000 potions left. I hope I have enough. Um, uh, and let's just do this. So, run nano. Take 
take your jump down of here. Oh, I got kind of unlucky there. That's okay. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? <laughs> it's okay. I'm still waiting for that platform. I actually have a character called uh, Number Four Three Two One. He looks exactly like the like the scamper pilot that you would find at Peach Creek Comet. Oh, oh. <laughs> Okay. He looks exactly like the scamper pilot at uh, Peach Creek Commons. I'm not sure if I've uh, fully talked about this, however, uh, yeah, I, I would watch a video five times and I would try and pay attention because uh, I have a hard time paying attention. I would try and pay attention and I would try to have that general layout and build that sort of confidence that I can that I can do this and every time that I'm done and then after that five times of viewing I would uh, I would I would do the race right and then ap and after I do that race I would watch the video again until I get comfortable and so this is one of the main reasons why I'm actually uh, showing you guys um, myself racing five times because I want to show you uh, all the possible mistakes that I can make because again like no one's a perfect person and those videos that you see where it's an all-time score again I can guarantee you that it was not their first recording Make sure you jump here last, and uh... Catch you later. Go and then after like the eighth time I viewed the video, I, I finally got comfortable. So I, I do encourage you that uh, if you're still struggling with this, I recommend you to watch my video again and uh, see myself doing these paths. Professor Bye. I got unlucky there, that's okay. If that's the case, then I can just always use a rocket and, uh, oops. Whoa. I think that thing, uh, oh, come on. And, um, you know, I noticed that when it comes to racing and not just racing in general, uh, when I would take a break, just for even just like 10 minutes, um, I actually get a better score by taking a break because uh, there is actually a neuroscience behind it. It's called uh, diffused uh, attention. And what it means is that... Uh, oh. What it means is that while you're doing something else, the subconscious part of your brain actually tries and figure out how to I optimum how to actually solve uh, the problem. Okay, so I was very very close from beating my all time my personal best uh, by one second. Uh, again, that's I'm I'm really happy. I, I'm really happy. So just those little things, right? Those little things that you do, those little movements that don't it all it all makes uh, that important difference. Uh, okay, got myself uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Uh, this one does not count. That's part of the skate park one. And uh, yeah. So if you like my video, please make sure to comment, like, subscribe, share, and uh, as always, Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.